Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will compare AM receiver and FM receiver with great clarity. So in this video, I will compare AM receiver and FM receiver based on different parameters. So first parameter is modulation. From name itself, you can understand this. AM means amplitude modulation and FM means frequency modulation, right? See, second parameter is based on receiver type. In this video lecture series, I have explained two different receiver types. One is tuned radio frequency receiver and second is super heterodyne receiver. See, tuned radio frequency receiver is costly and it is having poor performance. So, but obviously we should be using super heterodyne receiver that is having better performance and it is having lower cost. So with both of these circuits, we use super heterodyne receiver in majority of applications, right? See, next parameter is frequency range. In AM receiver, we have two different frequency range. One is there from 530 kilohertz to 1650 kilohertz. That usually we use it with AM broadcast. And second frequency range is there from 3 megahertz to 30 megahertz, where there are so many applications that I'll discuss at last. While with FM receiver, we have frequency range from 88 megahertz to 108 megahertz. And this frequency range that usually we use it with FM broadcast, right? See, next parameter is message bandwidth. You need to understand this. See, in AM receiver, we have amplitude modulation. With amplitude modulation, bandwidth will be two times of message signal frequency. With voice communication, message signal frequency will be up to 5 kilohertz. So usually with AM receiver, 2 FM means 2 into 5, that will be 10 kilohertz, right? While with FM, we have bandwidth as per Carson's rule, where we need wider bandwidth, right? Always remember this, frequency modulation needs more bandwidth, amplitude modulation needs less bandwidth. With FM receiver, bandwidth will be of 200 kilohertz, right? That will be way higher compared to AM receiver. See here, RF amplifier is required or not. RF amplifier usually will be low noise amplifier. In AM receiver, that is optional, while in FM receiver, that is mandatory, right? See, next parameter is based on IF frequency. IF frequency means intermediate frequency. One should know in super heterodyne receiver, we do frequency conversion two times. First of all, we receive RF signal. That RF signal is converted into intermediate frequency by first detector. That intermediate frequency that is getting converted into message signal by second detector. So here, with AM broadcast, which is there from 530 kilohertz to 1650 kilohertz, intermediate frequency is 455 kilohertz. While with FM broadcast, which is there from 88 megahertz to 108 megahertz, intermediate frequency is 10.7 megahertz. Right. And one more thing that one should know, if you have higher intermediate frequency, then the receiver can reject image frequency. Right. So based on this range, both of these intermediate frequency are sufficient enough. See, next parameter is sound quality. But obviously one should know AM signal means amplitude modulated signal that is always having poor quality of modulation. Right. The reason is it is prone to noise. While with frequency modulation, we have good noise immunity. So, but obviously you will be observing with FM, we have superior quality of sound compared to AM signal, right? Now, let me discuss about next parameter that is noise immunity. As I have told you, AM signal that is having poor sound quality as it is based on amplitude modulation. While FM signal that is having very good sound quality as it is based on frequency modulation, but here with FM receiver, we need higher bandwidth compared to AM receiver, right? 
Now let me explain next parameter that is capture effect. First of all, you need to understand what is capture effect. See capture effect means as and when receiver receives two signals which are having nearer frequencies. At that time, receiver should be able to reject weak signal and it should be able to accept strong signal. So if you talk about AM receiver, then in that capture effect is not significant. The reason is AM receiver cannot separate two signals which are having nearer frequencies. But in FM receiver, one can reject weak signal and one can accept strong signal. So capture effect that is noticeable in case of FM receiver, right? So it is strong and noticeable in case of FM receiver. Now let me discuss about next parameter that is selectivity. One should know selectivity is based on quality factor of receiver, right? Quality factor is center frequency divided by bandwidth. If we have wider bandwidth, then one can say we have better quality factor. So usually you will be observing selectivity is moderate with AM receiver and it is good with FM receiver. The reason is with FM receiver, we have wider bandwidth, right? Now let me discuss about next parameter that is signal penetration. This is quite essential. One should know, see AM receiver that is having this frequency range 530 kilohertz to 1650 kilohertz and this frequencies that can easily penetrate it through the wall. So this frequency is having characteristics which can easily penetrate through walls and these signals are propagating as per ground wave propagation. That's why usually you will be observing the signal penetration through walls with AM receiver is excellent while there will be distortion with this FM receiver as if obstacles are there in between. So usually you will be observing this FM receiver that we use it with our cars, right? So on free space, you can easily receive signal. But if you talk about AM signal, then that one can easily receive inside their home even. The reason is signals can get penetrated through the walls, right? See next parameter is cost. See AM receiver that is low cost receiver. And FM receiver is also low cost receiver, but it is having little bit higher cost compared to AM receiver, right? Next parameter is range. See AM receiver is having long range. Why the reason is signals can get penetrated through the walls, right? And signal propagation is based on ground wave propagation. So there will be long range while with FM receiver, we have short range. That if obstacles are there in between, then there will be attenuation of signal, right? Now let me discuss about last parameter that is applications. With AM receiver, we have AM radio that is having frequency range from 530 kilohertz to 1650 kilohertz. We can also have aviation communication and we can use AM receiver with walkie talkie. While with FM receiver, we have FM radio that is having frequency range from 88 megahertz to 108 megahertz. We can also use FM receiver with wireless microphones and for high quality sound communication, we can use FM receiver. So that is how different applications are there with AM receiver and FM receiver. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Still, if you have any confusion, just place that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.